Octi! Hello, Ripley! It's great to see you! We're you just kind of getting rolling. Yes, I can see them, kind of. We have a big adventure today. We're here to try and get our chocobos now that we've decided to become pirate bunnies. Does that mean they're going to be pirate chocobos? I don't think there's any birdings that actually have an eye patch for the chocobo, are there? Um, quick question to folks: Are we getting an echo from my mic whenever, uh, anytime uh, Rindus talks or Ladonia? <laughs> I keep using Rindus. I'm sorry. I'm a confusing person. Oh, we're not getting an answer, so hopefully that's good, because uh, I've had to change some a tool with some mic settings. No, never. And there's this blue bang over uh, Storm Commander Rika over here. Mm-hmm. My little chukabo. Maelstrom. Rashan Turkey suggests you look into having a personal chocobo issued. Well, if it isn't Private's Frith, I must say the talents of your deeds have been an inspiration to the troops. Our duties take us far and wide, and I'll wager you'll slog across quite a few mobs of countryside on not but your own two feet. Yeah. Such a sterling soldier of the Maelstrom deserves her their own steeds. Let us see about having one issued for you. All you need to do is to obtain a Storm Chocobo insurance by exchanging the company seals for the Quartermaster. Once you have this deed, present it to Fregram and she will see you a saddled up on one of our trusty birds. So the question is, how many seals do we have? I have None. Yeah. We weren't officially part of the uh, company when we did the last mission. How many are we going to need? I don't know. I, we, I'm trying to check with the quartermaster. Right. Storm Chocobo Insurance 200. Where is this? It's under material. About halfway ah, down. There it is, right in the middle. Okay then. Now realize when we first started with Frelia and Theron. Yep. It was two thousand. Of course it was. So you know what this means? Because inflation. No wait, that doesn't sound like we need to do some fate running. Oh, I lost you, didn't I? Yeah, you. You left before I could get out of all the dialogues. Sorry. Sniff, I'm such a bad sister. <laughs> well, we can do it by fate running. Or we can hop into a leveling roulette, which will get us, like... Almost a thousand seals. <clears throat> um, hold on a moment. Or guild heist. Wanna... No. Guild heist are quick. No, no. Yeah, I do not have like spare greens or pinks on me. So I can't really uh, do it by turning in items. No. Which is what I was checking. Let's do a guild heist. Do you want to come as DPS? That um, means black mage. Well, You'll get more seals. That is tempting. But um, Conjurer yep. is still my lowest. Yeah, you'll get uh, 58 extra seals for doing as black mage. Fine. 
talk me into the explosions. Of course I'll talk you into the explosions. Now let's see what sort of fates we have hiding out the back door. And the leaves of Borbray is now open to us. We might want to hope our toes into that as well. Mm. <laughs> well, we can go north for into the I think we want to head south to the leaves. These usually get sealed as well. Of course, this is picking up for the south. Yeah! Diamond Rare. And sunrise music. Yes. <laughs> you can always tell sunrise and Limsa comes on so dramatically. Along with inside of Ulda. Mm. Their music is fairly dramatic too. Yep, there's the sunrise. Looking over the ocean. Oh, this is not going to go well. Did I clip you? You were going to, yes. I'm sorry. Don't forget, you're still running faster. Oh, right, because I'm ninja. Or, no, or... you're not even a fake ninja. <sighs> I can't even fake being a ninja. Wow. What's the world coming to? Suddenly, things are binding. You did learn to extract them, right? Or materia. Something like that. Well, that got us, like... 60 some. No, it got you 60 some. What did it get you? 42, I only got a silver. Aww. Remember, there's the problem with being Black Mage. I'm sorry, should I slow down then? Maybe. And we had the thing for a second and lost it. <laughs> yeah. Someone decided it was a bad idea. And really properly realized the fact that the Dry Docks gets the same music as Limsa. Yes. As opposed to La Nusea. Um, dry docks, Aleport, any yep. of the major cities short of Costa del Sol. Right. Hello, Mr. Gleeman. Gigi Ruju probably paid for his own uh, soundtrack. He's filthy enough to do it, too. You mean filthy rich enough, but yes. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe filthy enough, too. 
His mind needs a lot of borax. <laughs> Leaves of Morabi. Morawan, the Adventurers Guild representative for local leave. Never mind. Never mind. We'll Maybe. be back to talk with oh. you later, sir. <laughs> Thank you, Baron. Basic training, enemy parties. Yep, we're fighting for Gobu's. The tank would be more impressive if he actually turned off the tank. He probably <laughs> forgot and got turned off. <laughs> yeah, and I just had something else bind. There he goes. I saw that iron will. To be fair... Triumph of the iron will. It is so easy to forget every time you enter an instant that they have to level sync you at. You lose your tank stance. I'd say your chances of victory are not above dismal. Oh, gee, thanks. How encouraging. Yeah. Oh, and I just think... Oh, very good. Yes, yes, you did. And... Okay. Fine display for a first-timer. Here's your well-earned coin. I've tossed in a little something extra sweet in the deal, so as you might consider coming back. Maybe? Maybe not? <laughs> Did that actually get a seals? Uh, I showed oh, yeah, 245 on my bar! 223. Okay! Um, do we want to go ahead and finish this off since we're here so we don't have to come back? Yeah... He'd be so disappointed otherwise. Um, kind of thinking of going back to uh, Conjurer. Uh, 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 yeah, Conjurer. Go for it. He pretty much gives the me standard of... spiel deal. Yeah. Adventure Guild representative for the local leave quest at Morabi Dry Dogs is seeking an adventure to undertake guild leaves. And yeah, we can skip this. We've heard this one before. And we'll hear it again. No! No! I don't want to hear it again. Oh. Sorry. Taz hate flashback. Once we get done with this, I might take a minute to extract materia. Yeah, I've got a bunch of books as well. I've been kind of holding off for my Chocobo saddle bag so I can throw them all there. Why? Is there something else taking up slots in your regular inventory? Uh, 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 point taken. Uh huh. I'm so used to my inventory always being busting full. Yeah, you're gonna have to work a lot harder for that to happen here. Yeah, well. Okay, I am reporting for duty, Mr. Lead Quest. Does it do both of us? Yes. Duty commenced. Now, if I remember right, we need to get a special lightning... Use a lightning sprite core to reveal target's true form. And we have to get a specific lightning sprite. Those won't do. Yeah, it'll have to be one of the ones with the cards. The 
which I, if I remember right, we're hanging out over here. Nope, that's a mega crap. Uh, there's the lightning sprite heading behind yep. the moles. How in ingenious of Two lightning sprite cores. Suspicious. Okay, he nope, looks nope. suspicious to me. Oh right, use the lightning. Okay. It's been too long. You may have this memorized, I don't. Oh, well, that's one. Mm-hmm. Roll down below. Nope, there's two up here. Ah, actually, I think we want this one over here. They don't randomize it, I'm a little peeved. Let me try this one. Assuming I still have one. Yes, yes, I do. Haha! <laughs> We're on to you, Mr. Claw. The Louise Dun Dun. Mm-hmm. Dun 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 Dun. Dun Dun Bun Buns. <laughs> oh, my bun. <laughs> you only collect her reward. Yes, yes. And pants. On the payroll, too. With the Maelstrom warship under construction here, the military is eager to leave the dry dock safe and secure. They would be glad to know a stalwart adventurer like you is around, cleaning up these problems one at a time. Okay! Let's see here. Double check these. Uh, I think they're all fine. At some point. Oop. Oop. Why some point. Oop. Um. I will need to repair. That's what. I, that's the word I'm looking for. Oh, we can do that in the city. I can do this while I still remember. No. Ah. Try trying to get the uh, new material done. No, no, just pulling it out. This is all extraction. The swarm more things than that bound. But hey. It might all be under, uh, I'm not sure. It should have all been under Conjurer, that's what I was when, the, when it bound. And extract science. Oh. <laughs> Ow! I do. <laughs> no, I think I have an idea what might be Oh, uh, Why don't we take the porter back? It'll be faster. Ah. Keep of the chocobos? Yes. So, have folks in chat thought of possible names? For our two chocobos? And just so you know, Boko is taken. <laughs> yes. Yes, it is. So is Karage. 
And Rift Walker. Yes, and Rift. And Giggles. Ah, yes. And Speedwagon. I see food is an issue here. <laughs> yes. Oh, and aggro is taken too. They're like fr Flay and Gristle. Mm. <laughs> Not sure that works together. I think. I, I'm so sad. I have not had very many peeps this uh, Easter season. I got you two boxes of them. Yes, and I ate them. All of them. And that was more than I was honestly expecting with everything that's happening. Yes. Okay. One deed. Got your chocobo license? Mm-hmm. And now we go talk to the chocobo keep. Turducken and duck turgen. <laughs> okay then. Tweety D and Tweety Dom. <laughs> now remember, these are supposed to be um, our normal. I'm still on load. Oh, you're still on load? Sorry our uh, noble steeds that we will have for the rest of the game. Yes. Remember, they're more than just mounts. Yes. Uh, they are fighting companions yeah, in those few places can... that they let you do it. Yeah, they actually let you train them up to be fighting companions. Which is actually kind of neat. You want a bird issued, you say? Then I need to see your, your storm chocobo insurance. Issuance. Mm -hmm. Issuance. Yeah, I guess it is issuance. So similar to insurance. I'm sorry. Present this deed to the Maelstrom Company stables to receive your own chocobo. Yes, everything appears to be in order. A moment, please. I'll be right back with your chocobo. You know, this is not how I remember it going last time. How do you remember it going last time? I remember about four or five quests at the stables in uh, the Black Shroud. Yeah, I... Yeah, I, I think they streamlined a bit. <laughs> And here he is, the fellow that has been in high spirits for the past few bells. He must have sensed that his master was coming. Now then, to make it official, you'll want to give your noble steed a name. <laughs> ha! 
regular and unleaded. <laughs> What have we wrought? <laughs> Nothing good. <laughs> Commander Peeper and Lord Hatter. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, I think Commander Peeper is too long of a name. It has to be kind of one word. Uh, and two and twenty uh, between two and twenty characters. Yeah, and no spaces. Yep, no spaces allowed. <laughs> I don't think they allow special characters. What kind of special? Uh, hyphens for chocobo names. Uh, they might. They allow it for character names. I don't think they allowed it for... Uh... Nope, no hyphens. You can have apostrophes. <sighs> no, we can't actually change them. I have to say, of the ones we're we're getting, I'd probably go with Tweety D and Tweety Dumb. We I can't have, have cats, one. except for the first one. It's still, it's still read. Because I have to say, the food ones are, are not really doing it for me. Peeps and Marshmallow? <sighs> <laughs> um, how hard is it to get a, a, a nice white feather color? Uh, pretty easy. As long as we have the gill for the... Uh, yeah, because dish. if it's going to uh, be named Marshmallow, it's got to be white. Yeah. <laughs> Woodstock. <laughs> yes. What was that, dear? <laughs> no, we are not naming them Asian flu and SARS. <laughs> or avian flu. No. <laughs> well, if we did Marshmallow and Peep, which one would you want? Because I'll admit, yeah, as far as those go, that's one of the better combos. I I'd want Peep, I think. <laughs> Or peeps. <laughs> no, we are not naming them H1N1 or Corona. <laughs> <laughs> Merle Cheap. Ow, oh, that's horrible. Thunderbird 1 and Thunderbird 2. <laughs> that was another of Baron's. Yes, yes it is. Not so big bird. <laughs> Actually, I think uh, the bear get one of the bigger ones, don't they? Which one? Oh. Um they're among the taller races and it's going to be based on your size Ta taxi and cab <laughs> yes <laughs> Beaky McBeak face would definitely need but the caps for it to read <laughs> read well <laughs> uh, okay. These cougars may have a winner there. Obi Wan and uh, Hinobi. Hinobi. <laughs> Poached <sighs> and scrambled. You're excused. 
You have any you want to go with? I, I'm still leaning towards peeps. Go for it. <laughs> peeps. Because they are my favorite. Ah. I will go with peeps. We will change hair color eventually. Yes. You'll have to see if you can get a nice brilliant yellow on yours. It is possible. They do have uh, several uh, yellows available. Though we have to watch. Uh, I do actually have the official Chocobo uh, calculator for food. Yes. For changing feather colors. <laughs> Hey, Freegan. No, that's a relief. Talking to Freegan. <laughs> I dare say he likes his name. Are you sure? Are you <laughs> really sure? Here is your very own chocobo whistle. Simply bow into it, then your feathered friend will come bounding to your side. But do not forget Copper him. Copper does not apply inside cities. But do forgive him. He doesn't respond when summoning in crowded cities, er areas, or monster-infested lairs. I.e., we can't take them into dungeons. Sniff! Yeah! Chocobos are stout-hearted creatures, but they have their limits. And lastly, I present with you a Chocobo Rider's License as required by law. I'll frame it. That concludes all the formalities. I wish you and your chocobo long years of fulfilling companionship. Personal chocobo. Yay! And achievement by little chocobo. And pardon me, uh, I am going to. No, I can't. You won't let me have the. I'm not going to go through the mountain. You sniff. Eh? But it means we get have access now to the party whale. Ah. And to Urza. Um, hey. Sarin loaded me Urza. He said it was kind of important. Uh huh. Okay, so there's all that. He comes with Lomensen. Oh, really? Hmm. Uh, for some reason, I already have the Black Mage and Saintly Birding. Yeah, those were uh, bonuses for being subscribed for so long. Okay. Oh, uh, or the Black Mage Birding is the uh, Saintly Birding was uh, last Christmas. Hmm. As a hmm. reward for doing the holiday quest. Right. There it is. So, I guess it's off to the Waking Sands now. As oh, we yeah. get past the oh, terror yeah. that is the Lens in the Aetherite Plaza. <laughs> yeah, I have four mounts already. Yes. I didn't know the Airman was a bonus thing. Yes, it was like one of the first bonus uh, mounts you get is the uh, base arm and... and that also means we have access to the carbuncle. And you should also have access to the circus arm and, and yes. the carbuncle. And me, the fat, ca the fatter cat. Oh, um, one of the things we're going to have to do. Hmm. We need glacial greens. We will need them, but not yet. We haven't opened okay. that functionality up. Okay. Just the mount so far. Just the mount. Um, we need the uh, My Fighting Chocobo quest for the uh, companion. Hmm. Which opens up when we hit Camp Tranquil about. It should be pretty soon, though.
ignore that fang. Um, you might want to hold up a minute. Are uh, you still on the screen? I'm still arriving on the ship. <laughs> now I'm on loot screen. Well, the good news is that your little kitten has another kitten playmate. Okay, then. Are they ganging up on the wolf pup? No, thankfully. <laughs> And now we need to go talk to Linfilia. Oh, there's you down, Papalimo. Yeah! Hey, Papalimo! Following the calamity, each nation's armed forces underwent large scale restructuring centered on its grand company. In Gridania, the Order of the Twin Adder absorbed both the Wood Wailers and the God's Quiver, while the Lomensons enacted the complete merger of the Maelstrom and the Knights of the Barracuda. Ulda is uh, the odd nation out, having made no notable changes to his armed forces. As before, and in the spirit of the Sultanate, each entity retains a certain degree of independence. Nida? Let me see if I get this right. You're an adventurer who's a scion and a storm. Golly, how do you keep track of everything? It must be fun pairing up with lots of other different people, though. Me? I'm always with Papalimo. Come to think of it, what am I always with Papalimo? Don't straight a load, Nida. <laughs> Because someone has to have a couple of brain cells to rub together. Up the stairs. Hmm? Hmm. Indeed. The incident with the traitor still weighs heavily on everyone's minds. The flame generals, most of all. And although he cannot be expected to know what evil lurks in the hearts of every man under his command, the revelation is nevertheless a devastating blow to his authority. Even so, it warrants saying that you should not let this tragedy color your, your opinion of the man. In all my years working with the Flame General, I've never had reason to doubt his capacity to lead. Do we want to check downstairs? Yeah, I'm going to check who's hanging out, because this tends to sh change around a bit. And obviously it has changed around a bunch. Hi, Brennan. Hello, Brennan. I heard tell one of me brothers came through not long ago. Looks like I just missed him, though. I ain't seen either one of them since the Calamity. Didn't even know if they were still alive. After running into, into folk who swore they knew me time and again, I reckon they had to be out there somewhere. I've been traveling and peddling in the hopes that I'd find me brothers ever since. If you see a fellow what looks like me, let him know that Brennan's looking for him, would you? Will do. Ah, behind the panels is Yustola and Oyanje. Uh, where are you? Um... Right behind on the oh, other side oh, of the panels oh, from oh, Brennan. Oh, 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 oh. And what is Urianji wearing? Is that some sort of what sort of stuff is that? Seriously, I've never seen that in game before. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I thought you were a scholar. <laughs> Who do you want to start with? Yustola. We will continue our, to focus our efforts on investigating the primals. The Amalja are not the only tribe that has succeeded in summoning its deity. Arianje? Fate shall be thy guide. When our purposes become one, once again shall our paths lead us here. I have our never city seen that staff before. <laughs> I thought I had seen everything. Now you have. Our city of learning is now naught but shadows. 
Ere the light of dawn breaketh, we sh shall we follow whither the sand blows. How cryptic as always. Yep. Get used to it, and that's the way he talks. Ah! Lavina is here! Mm hmm. Do people remember Lavina? I have to admit, I, the name's familiar and I'm not quite placing her. She was the archer who was part of the four yeah. man team. Okay. With she Eda, or um, Eda, where uh, the main uh, captain of the team, Ever, got killed. And yeah. they blamed the healer for not healing fast enough, so the entire team broke up and left the healer all alone with the head of her beloved Aver. Yeah, that, that, that can only end well. Yeah, but Lavine is here. Have we met somewhere before? You must be quite the accomplished adventurer to be welcomed into these halls. Me? No one ever expected much of me. And so far, I've done a fine job of living down to their expectations. It's okay. <laughs> wow, that was a worse emote than Theron's. Th and that takes talent. <laughs> yes, it does. Uh, yeah, straighten, no. your, yeah, straighten your hair and get out of that. Yeah. No one, uh, back no one around there. the corner. And, and we've got a kind of creepy lady here. Or creeper lady. Oh, uh, Una Tune? Yeah. <laughs> I've been chatting with Persevans, and we both swear there was another member of our crew. We still aren't figured out a way to prove who he was, but you just wait and see. It won't be long before everybody sees us, the heroes that we uh, is. Wow, she stutters. <sighs> no, uh, she was actually one of the Warriors of Light who kind of forgot mm -hmm. everything after the Calamity. Mm-hmm. Oh, look, an armor member. Can you fix my armor? Please. Okay, the rest of it. No, those aren't. Uh, I think I can afford that Waking Sands orchestration role that uh, Paneko Berneko has. I'll need a minute. Ooh, that was my first orchestration role. I did not realize that. They haven't exactly been handing them out. Done with that, we have a Louis and Arnval. Let's see. Okay. Ali? Okay. I'm not sure I grasp the purpose of these remembrance ceremonies. Whether you remember or write the past, it doesn't. What does it matter? It's as though you can repeat it. Those present-day enemies ought to serve as efficient motive, don't you think? The only lesson I believe we should take care take from the calamity is that far greater threats can and will appear. Aren't all? I hear you pledged yourself to a grand company. Me? I don't think I could do that and do it. I'd never feel like one of them, no matter what the recruiters say. Mm-hmm. Bit of a mess in here at the moment. Okay, I'm at the uh, portal to the Solar. Mm hmm Ready to go in? Mm-hmm. Welcome back, Rena, Madonna. 
Lady Minfilio awaits within. And now they give us seals. 300 seals, right there! Um, yeah! <laughs> all that work, and it was right there. Welcome back. It seems you wasted no time putting your skills to work. How do I know? Why, the recruitment officer called to regale me with the tale of your heroics, and the pride in his voice was powerful. We scions are truly fortunate for you to have us... Er, we scions are truly fortunate to have you with us, Rena Ladonia. Now, when last we spoke, you said I wanted you to meet some friends, did I not? Well, I neglected to mention you've already met them. Tataru, please show them in. This way, sirs. Aha. Thanks again for getting us out of that mess. We owe you our lives. And I don't think we properly introduced ourselves. I'm Biggs. And I... I... Gods, man, spit it out, will you? Witch, at your service! <laughs> I'm pleased to say that Biggs and Wedge will be staying with us for a while. Magitech-driven contraptions such as airships grow ever more vital to the city-states of Eorzea. As a neutral party, it was judged that we signs should serve as the keepers of this technology. Of course, if this, for this, we needed the knowledge of experts, and so we requested the assistance of Garland Ironworks, who very kindly sent the, us two of their finest engineers. You get a good night's sleep, dear. Thank you for joining ah, us. Yes. Our happy family. Hmm? Last good night for her. Ah. Our happy family continues to grow, and on behalf of the Scions, I bid you welcome to the Waking Sands. Like every soul here, I love Eorzea. And I count myself blessed to have been given this chance to stand with you all and fight for the future of the realm. Never I have I known such fulfillment, such happiness. Poof, they're all gone. Yep. Sylph management. Infilia needs you to investigate the sylphs. Now, having said design the formalities, we have a favor to ask of you. Uriange, have the documents arrived from the students of Baldessian? Aye, my lady. They arrived, but recently. We have conducted a study at the behest of the Order of the Twin Adder. Papalimo, Ida, a synopsis, if you would. Our task was to survey the behavior of the Sylphs, a beast tribe indigenous to the Twelveswood. Oh, how to describe them. They look like gizzle greens, floating ones, that worship the primal Ramu. <clears throat> Though technically a beast tribe, sylphs are blessed with a comparatively personable demeanor, conducive to peaceful communication. Offering us an invaluable opportunity to learn what the beast tribes know of the primals. While Ramu's existence is well documented, the Sylphs do not, or perhaps cannot, summon the Primal any longer, insofar as can be ascertained. Until such time as we know, it would be unwise to assume that the threat posed by the Primal has passed. Which leaves Gridania with the added worry of not knowing what they should be worrying about. In that regard, they are hardly alone. 
What we can say with absolute certainty is that Gridania has its hands full fending off Garuda. Who, I need hardly remind you, is among the most savage and terrible of all known primals. In short, it is essential that we approach the Sylphs in as diplomatic a manner as possible. Words and actions can be misconstrued. The only sure way to communicate our intentions is the Echo. Winning the Sylphs' favor may well bring us a step closer to mitigating the threat of the Primals. Will you help us? Stork I am grateful. Lovely. Well, as much as I'd like to help, I'm afraid I would be of little use to anyone in Gridania. A veritable babe in the woods. Ida and Papalimo, however, should be able to see the forest for the trees. Is that not so, Minfilia? Indeed. You are willing? Leave it to me. Us, Ida, us! Mm hmm. Up, oh, Biggs and Wedge are upstairs. Hmm. Yeah, and place of Thinkred. Mm hmm. We haven't forgotten how you saved us, uh, Sladonia. Rena, don't worry. Wedge and I will mean to pay. Uh, mean to repay the favor in kind. Not necessarily the life-saving type of people, though the airship comes in, comes in handy. Oh, yeah. I like it here. Safe, hidden, a bit dank and dingy, perhaps, but I've known worse. Plus, the receptionist was rather charming, don't you think? Oh, no. Here it comes. <laughs> <laughs> Now, I'm going to actually recommend we, like, ride to Olga and take an airship to Danya. Okay. The main reason why, one, we get to use our chocobos! Yes! And two, um, check out the speed they're running at. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, in case you are used to, there are three different speed sets, and we're currently set to the lowest. We'll work up to the others, but yeah. Mm -hmm. It is faster than running. Mm hmm. It's faster than the, the uh, Porter Chocobos. Yes, actually, that is true. It is faster than the Porter Chocobos. Just not by much. No. No. Ride my chocobo. Does all lit up. Yeah. Yeah, there's a good shot of old up. Come on, 
Yeah, yeah they're pretty good with <laughs> some of the uh, backdrop stuff around here. Approaching it from the uh, other zone at night can be pretty good. Yeah. I do think this is all running on a PlayStation 3. Yep. <laughs> Isn't it nice they have Chocobo access ramps? Yes, they uh, do. Better than tripping their claws on one of those uh, steps. <laughs> yeah. On one of the 80s sins of Sesamo. Mm hmm. Oh, well, that's impressive. Mm hmm. The follow carried over from being uh, on Mount to inside the city. Yeah, it didn't used to. They've, no. It's one of the life tweaks that's happened over the years. Actually, remember when we played initially with uh, Riley and Theron and there was no slash follow command? I didn't know there is one now. I do it all manually. Uh, there, there is actually a slash follow command so you can macro it. Hmm. I need to do that. But, uh, yeah. But I remember it was one of the things that drove us absolutely bonkers in our first initial playthrough. <laughs> Way back when. Okay. Gridania. Yeah, I think we have to do the entire soul chain in order to get the access to our jobs. Hmm. Okay. It's not just a level lock, it's a, uh, MSQ lock as well. But yeah, we just skipped over like, what, five zones? <laughs> eh, not quite that, but close. Like four. Two in Thanalan and two in Gridania. Or mm -hmm. in uh, the, the Shroud. Oh, we need to come here to the Adder's Nest anyway. Too little of the souls to lay any worthwhile plans. We must call upon the scions once more if we are to. Ah, big pardons. It is a terrible habit of mine to think out, uh, think aloud. But tell me, what brings you to the Hatter's Nest? Um, where are the uh, scions you were, just you were asking about? for? We come in peace. Hush. We come in peace. 
Commander Er Versailles her loyal has been awaiting the aid of the Scions. Hail, adventurer, I bid you welcome to the Adder's Nest. Do you seek to entwine your destiny with the Twin Adder? Good evening, Commander. Sorry to disappoint you, but other business brings us here today. Ida and Papalimo, always a pleasure to see the two of you. My men tell me you quest in the name of the Scions of late. Quite so, Commander. A little bird told us that the twin adder was in need of our adventuring prowess. Aye, your little bird sings true. No doubt you've heard that we're investigating the Sylphs, that curious beast tribe that calls the depths of the Twelveswood home. The Sylphs are, for the most part, a peaceable bunch, much to the delight of the Elder Seedseer, who has no desire to see her people embroiled in yet another fruitless war. The Twin Adder is of the same mind, and it is precisely for this reason that the Sylphs' relation to the Primal Rimo has raised a flag of warning amongst our ranks. Friendly as they may appear, beastmen will be beastmen. Should there be even a sliver of a chance that the summoning of the Primal might disturb the balance between Gridania and the Sylphic tribes, it is a possibility we cannot ignore. Better to be safe than sorry indeed! Do we strike at Ramu or leave the Sylphs to their own ways? That is the question, yet I find myself lacking ample knowledge to arrive at an answer. Opinions abound within Gridania, but to listen to only to one's own is among the greatest mistakes a commander can make. I would hear from the other side, the Sylphs themselves, and seek an impartial party to serve as my liaison. That is where you scions come in. The Sylphs of Little Solace remain untempered and have held many a productive dialogue with our people. I would hear their candid thoughts on their tempered brethren. That said, I urge you to exercise due caution. Sylphic tradition and etiquette bear little resemblance to our own. It would not do to have any cross-cultural faux pas get in the way of a productive parley. En route to Little Solace, you will come upon the Hawthorne Hut. Our officer stationed there can enlighten you as to how to win the Sylph's favor. May your expedition be a worthwhile one. A friendly palaver with the Sylphs? This should be a pleasant enough diversion. A Hawthorne hut, was it? Why, I believe the ferry departing from West Shore Pier might you should take us straight there. A friendly palaver indeed. I hope this will be as straightforward as you say, Papa Lima. Again with the snow nods. Mm-hmm. Stoic nods all around. Oh, and someone's uh, getting their ass whooped at cards. <laughs> so off to the pier we go. Hawthorne Hut, without much trouble. 
The Hawthorns are most welcoming folk who have shown us no small measure of goodwill. Still, a bit of courtesy goes a long way. I would encourage you to stop by Folk Flower Cone and introduce yourself to Rosa before you travel on. Seek passage to Sweet Bloom Pier. Do not go to Lavender Beds. There is no workshop waiting for us there. <laughs> I'm sure it's. I'm sure it's there. Just not for us. Mm -hmm. Um. Um. Don't think it's that close. Oh, yeah, right. We have chocobos. <laughs> Silly bunny. Hello, Orza. Mm hmm. <laughs> No, Ursa is slow. What has Baron been feeding this bird? Molasses? Where's <laughs> ah. a Hawthorne? An adventure. Thank the twelve. You couldn't have come at a more opportune time. Please, you must help us. Why, it's our bees. Our poor little deers are under attack by a mysterious swarm of coordinates. These bees are our livelihoods. You must save them. The bees! Now something's bound for you. Indeed. Travel to our hut, you say? And would speak with the serpent officer there? There is one who goes by um, Emmeline? Emmeline? Yeah. Emmeline. There is one who goes by Emmeline. She is a century as just from fire, but makes a regular excursion to our hut. She's quite enamored of our hut and, and tales of my husband's wall. Though I found him to be quite rich around those he's not familiar with. Oh, I know what we might try. Why don't you take a jar of fresh honey to him? I reckon you'll find him more than talkative then. Okay, here's a... Something to sweeten the deal. Hold on. And now for our special trick. Woohoo! Two-person mount! Not just everyone can do this. You know how long it is. She gets this mouth. <laughs> All too well. <sighs> wow, yeah, this is slower. It is way slower. But we will take one detour here. Touchy, touchy, the eighth right. Um, I think we have already. We did come through here at one point. Oh, I guess we did. Well, I went ahead and said as the home point since uh, we're going to be questing in the area. Fine. Either that or it's going to take us straight to Horizon. 
And let me tell you, reason? at this stage in the game, if we die, that's a heck of a long jog. <laughs> Ralph? Well, Matt, and welcome, friend. What brings you to my humble abode? We'll skip that. Oh. Yeah. But he was all set to give you his life story! I know! Emmeline? Indeed, I'm Emmeline of the Twin Adder. Your face is unfamiliar to. Hmm? You have a present for me, you say? Yeah, how about some fresh honey? Collected directly from the comb. If the bees are hungry, they will simply have to make more. A jar of roses, honey, and freshly harvested to boot. You certainly know how to make a first impression, friend. Ah, so you are the adventurer of whom the commander spoke. Do forgive me for being curt. My stomach was rumbling something fierce. My word, this honey is like liquid gold. Mm. Should, should... Should we leave the two of you alone? It might be best. <laughs> <clears throat> Forgive me. You've come to, dis uh, to discuss not honey, but sylphs. For all their whimsy, they are a wary lot. Particularly since the Empire has come to, uh, come to the Shroud. Are in their trust, however, and they're as friendly as any folk. They have their quirks, but so do, uh, so do we all, no? Yeah, and yours is honey. Would you know more? You'd do well to speak to Rose's husband here, Harald. He's forgotten more about the souls than I'll ever know. Rolf? Sylphic Studies. Rolf Hawthorne, patriarch of the beekeeping Hawthorne family, is said to be well versed in Sylphic customs. Come to learn a thing or two of the souls, have you? I'll tell you one thing, they are peculiar folk. How peculiar, you ask? Well, just let me tell you. I'm sure you would, even if we didn't ask. They're... they're... Uh, big pardon, friend. My memory's just not what it used to be. I've seen much and more in my adventuring days, and it's all a clutter in my noggin now. Though I've shared my stories with those around the hut before, and you might have more luck with them. Really? You are so cheaping out! Actually, do we want to take a moment and take some side quests? I think we'd better. Floramon? The Replacement Culler. Floramon seeks a capable adventurer to cull vermin in his den. More helpless NPCs. You have the look of one who's seen more than her fair share of danger. I am Florima, a sentry of Jocelyn Spire. Though you would be forgiven for imagining me, imagining me a sentry of this hut, so seldom have I left it in recent days. I sustained an injury, you see, and have been out of commission for some time. Anyway, my woodwailer comrades are about to commence a culling operation in the Bramble Patch, and the thought of them merging into the jaws of danger while I languish here like a cuddled babe is frankly too much to bear. I realize this is sudden, but might I trouble you to take part in the operation in my stead. If you would do me this favor, seek out Captain Ainud at Jocelyn Spire. He will tell you all you need to know. Fine. Molasses. <laughs> did 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 Theron think that poor Urza needed some exercise and tied weight to her legs? Because I'm we'd afraid be... is. Not that. I think the problem is us. Oh dear. I think We're kind of bigger than she's used to. I thought Theron was bigger than us. Uh, I don't think he has as much weight. True, he is kind of a beanpole. <laughs> and non-curvy. Definitely non-curvy. 
Swinophobia. Piranol, a sentry at Jocelyn Spire, would delegate some of his duties to an eager adventurer. Ah, adventurers. Common excuse to get out of work. Why do it yourself when you can pay someone to do it for you? <laughs> Those frightful snouts. Tusks like into spears. The squealing. That dreadful squealing. A death hem that haunts my dreams each night. Why, oh, why did I ever leave home to come here? <clears throat> Hail, adventure. Your sure-fied mean tells me you're keen to prove yourself, and to your good fortune, I have a uh, menial task ideal for one of your fair to middling abilities. Wild boars play the bramble patch, and it's about time that someone called the herd. Well, up to it now. Uh, yeah, right. You're all hurt. Hello? What brings you here, adventurer? Florimond's replacement, you say? And you are aware of the risks? I well, you do seem a capable sort. We do? Maybe. Let me fix my hair. I'll think about it. Yeah. Florimond's task was to be the slaying of six black bats in the Bramble Patch. I take it that you will now see to this? Very well. I wish you the best of luck. Simple enough. That's not the door. That's the door. I was kind of wondering where you were going. And I followed you anyway. <laughs> Who's the silly one now? You. You started it. Really? Really? Yes. Yes! Hey, ignore him. He's boring. Ha 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 ha. I see what you did there. Hey, look! A black bat got an end in on things that I'm having trouble selecting. <laughs> Target too. My target. And I'm going to have more ma uh, mag uh, 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 material to extract. Oh, I got most of them. Cool. No, no, you only have one. Oh, that's your problem. Yes. About. I'm not pink. Well, that's my head yeah. target log. Yep. Probably check to see if the other classes want that. Over here. Over here. Oh, you're gonna check the other classes? Oh, uh, we... Okay, don't need it for Gladiator. I do need it for White Mage. Ah, <sighs> Let's see, Marauder... No... Salmaturge... We're really going to have to go and clean these out. Nope. Really? What did you do to him? He apparently thought I smelled mice or something.
delicious, you say? One more fatty thing. So I get two. Me. Of course you do. Okay, back to these regularly scheduled roguish messages. Probably... Head back, do our turn-ins, and call it a night. Yeah! Spend the night in Hawthorne Hack. Mm-hmm. I hear they have good honey. Mmm... Honey... Nope, nope, we want to go this way. Either one will do. Yeah, but this one comes out to nice, friendly, boring yes. weevils and lemurs, and the other comes out to. Uh, nah. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't look forward to encountering those any more than you do. So you've seen to the black bats. We couldn't have asked for a better substitute. You have my gratitude. Now, at the risk of seeming brazen, I would ask a favor of my own. Will you bear a message for Florimond to me? The lad is being overly hard on himself for his absence. Tell him that his fretting avails no one, he himself least of all. He serves the wood whalers best by getting back on his feet with all swiftness, and that requires peace of mind. He's a good commander. Mm -hmm. Okay, Mr. Spinophobic. Please, you have my vow. I shall wear boar skin armor no more. I will starve before I partake in the tiniest morsel of salted pork. Just make them go away. What? The swine plague and bramble patch is no more? Oh, thank you, friend. Uh, speak the truth of it, I've been plagued by a dreadful phobia of those test monstrosities in recent weeks. We noticed. <sighs> yeah. But I realize this will not do. Jocelyn Spire overlooks a, a hub of trade and military activity, and to shirk my duties would be a dishonor to the hero whose name the Spire bears. You have instilled no small measure of courage in me today, friend, and for this I am grateful. Yeah, up until the next time that you uh, have to go boar hunting. Oh, look, he has another quest for us. Stand in sentry. Paralon needs capable volunteers to patrol the Gridanian frontier. Really? Shall we save this for next week, or take it now and do it then? I'll go ahead and take it now. You look to be made of sterner stuff than the average adventurer. How would you fancy doing your bit to preserve the peace? We patrol the area night and day, but a recent skirmish put a dozen of my best men in the infirmary and were shortly, sorely shorthanded as a result. I'd be grateful if you could help fill in for the wounded. Now, there are three strategic positions on our patrol route, each marked by a twin adder standard. What you need to do is go to the three locations in turn and hold your ground for a while. Nothing to it, see? <sighs> helpless NPC is helpless. Well, considering he was terrified of boars... Now, admittedly, those were really big boars. Yeah, yeah, yes. And yes, they, they only are. get bigger. Yes, yes, they do. Uh, and out of the rain. Message from Captain Ino? I see. The captain speaks true. I must say, a great weight has been lifted from my shoulders. As bade, I shall focus all my energies on recovery, the sooner to resume my duties. My thanks again, friend. I'll take the money. 
Let me Over echo drops? Oh yeah. What are you doing? Looking around for a place to sit. Yeah, well... Because we're going to be have here extra a while. Servings. Oh, I guess this will do. Slightly early, but uh, we're at a pretty good break point. Thank you all mm -hmm. very much for coming, and thank you for helping name our chocobos. Mm-hmm. You were an inspiration. <laughs> of one sort or another. Uh, next week, we will be mostly focusing on putzing around Hawthorn Hut and picking up uh, quests for sylphs. Yes. And then from there, I think think we're starting to get ready to get our next dungeon. Yeah, what is the next one? The Thousand oh. Maws of Todorok. Oh god. <laughs> Don't you mean the Thousand Runs of Todorok? <laughs> The long cinematic in the middle of the dungeon, Todorok. Yeah, well. <laughs> well, you guys all, thank you very much for coming and enjoying our little gaming session. Mm -hmm. Again, we'll be back here at 9.30 to 11.30 on Saturday for our Deep Dungeon uh, Try that again. On Saturday. No, no. Try the times 9 again. Nine thirty to eleven. Very good. <laughs> On Saturday for Deep Dungeon. Um, see if we can get past uh, or uh, re-hit our level seventy-one curse. I don't want to hit that curse again. No, 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 seventy-one curse. <laughs> and we're going for a hundred. Yes, <laughs> we are going for a hundred. Um, and then Sunday from 9.30 to 11, back on our bun buns with more Hawthorne Hut adventures. You guys have a great week. Stay safe. Be well. It was yes. great having you. Good night, all. Good night, everyone. <laughs>